Hi, I'm Richard Cooper, riding for Ambalaya Tag Kawasaki in the British Superbike Championship. This will be my fourth consecutive year riding with the Tag Racing team. Last year was my first year in the Superbike class, unfortunately it got cut short due to injury. This will be my second season in the Superbike Championship. I've been racing for 15 years now in various different classes. A lot of one-make series such as the KTM Super Duke, the BMW Boxer Cup, before progressing into the European Superstock Championship, the World Endurance Championship, and also a visit in the World Superbike for BMW in 2009 as a wildcard. So I have quite a varied career. I tend to ride any bike that I can get my leg over um, and tend to go well. So hence um, being picked up by such a great team as Ambalai Tag Racing Kawasaki. Looking forward to getting back on this year due to a short season, you know, ending five rounds in the championship with quite a severe arm injury and it was the first year that I had missed the majority of the season which uh, it, it sort of makes you hungry for it because you you know that you're missing the, you're missing riding so testing has gone well, winter training has gone well and, and we're here at Donington Park ready for, for race one, round one. My name is Philip Backlund and is 24 years of age, riding for Anvil High Tag Racing uh, in 215 British Superbike season. Started doing racing at the age of three into motocross, in entered into road racing at uh, 12 years of, uh, of age and been doing it since then. Racing all over Europe in different kinds of championship, Germany, uh, European, World Endurance, Swedish Pro, Pro Superbike and so on. And, uh, from 2013 in the British Championship through the Superstock 1000s and uh, now in the in the Superbike class, the main class. Why I, I choose to go to, to the British Championship is because it's the, the world's strongest national championship in the whole world if you're not going into World, world Championship. So for me that's uh, the long-term goal is to be world champion so uh, it's uh, a very good step to, to, to go through in, uh, in that direction. Phil feels great actually, it's a very family team, it's a pretty big team but also in the other term a, a small team where they uh, all taking care of each other, uh, hang out a lot on, off, off the track as well, going out uh, together, eating, doing things, so it's a very, very nice feeling and, um, of the whole team. So it feel, feels great for me to be, be a part of it. I'm, I think I, I'm, ever since I, I started race, doing races when I was seven years old, what I do, I love to race, I love to win uh, more than everything. So that's what I want to do. I want to keep winning because that feeling you get when you win, it's something special. So just continue winning and uh, going up on that podium. Collect the points. <laughs> BSP ride with Anvil Eye Tag Racing again and we're looking forward to after we've had a good testing getting out on the superbike here at Donington. Oh, it means everything to me to be this year on a full-time superbike. I mean I've sat at the side of the track and watched these superbike riders like Shaky and Keo and now to be pulling up at the end of Lane next year is a bit of a dream come true really so hopefully with the, the equipment we've got this year and the fitness from the fitness of the public and how they've helped me out I can uh, hopefully do what I need to do. At the minute I'm possibly not 100% fit as I've had an operation on my arms for, for my arm pump um, that was only three weeks ago so I'm still pretty much recovering for that um, but yeah I mean my arms are pretty much there now I've got to try and get my strength back into it and get back down to the gym full time every night and try and get it working right. Yeah my personal goal for next year is to improve on every round and 
just hopefully get into points in the top 15, that's where we need to be for this year and just progress every time we're out on track. Yeah, we started uh, in 2003 with Mini Motos with Sean. We entered him in a, a championship in Blackburn, uh, first time on the bike and everything. So he came third most improved rider of the year as well. So then we, the year after we went to the British Championship in 2005, he was British Mini Moto champion. And then we, we got to keep progressing then. And uh, we eventually did Super Teens and a few Emirates Order Championships in, in club level. And then went to BSB on the on the under 125s, and then it progressed with the link with Triumph, with Paul Young, and the factory, and, and Steve, the mechanic, and we carried on then, and we started to win races, get lap records and everything, and then we just we got asked to move up to Superbike, which was pretty good. We was going to plan to do it in this year 15, but we got asked to do it in 14. So well, that's where we are today. It is one of the best championships in the world, to be honest, the, the BSB, it is, it is the one to be with. That proves it this year with how many entries there are and, and riders from all over the world. And it's just, I want to see my lad do well and also team around us and, and riders coming in to join the, to make the team. I want to see them succeed as well and, and be at the top. If we can get riders into the, the showdown at the end of the year, that'd be really good with the amount of class in it. It's where we want to try and achieve to be. Top 10 is going to be good. Uh, and, and if we can get Sean scoring points at the end of the year, then that will be another achievement for us as well. Hi, my name's um, Steve Randall. I'm the, the team manager for Anvilaya Tag Racing. And from last year, obviously, um, the Superbike was, was a new thing for us. So we, we went to a couple of people that had, that had been involved with Superbikes for a while, asked them you know, the best things that we could buy. So we kind of bought the best stuff that we could get at the time uh, and went from there. We developed the bike then through, uh, all through last year. And over the winter we've made some, some, some big changes uh, for the 2015 season. Uh, obviously the oil is, is, a, is a major part, you know, engine parts, they, they need good oil to, to be reliable. And that's something that we've had with Purelene Oil. Since we've started using it in 2011, we've never had any problems whatsoever with the oil, it's been fantastic.